everyone, it is Jazz here, and I'm here to announce a random pop-up last-minute readathon for you guys. Sparkles, sparkles. <laughs> Wilma from the YouTube channel Life Goofer and I have been periodically throughout the year hosting color-themed readathons where we pick a color and everybody reads books that have that color somewhere on the book cover. We haven't been able to do one in a few months just because we've been wackadoodle. 2020 is what it is and also just we're both very busy people. <laughs> so we haven't been able to plan one in a couple of months but we really wanted to get one more in before the end of the year and we thought because there is a little bit of time off for both of us and also because there is, you know, probably the chance that the holiday season looks a little different for everyone this year that we would just do a really quick pop-up readathon sort of last minute, but we just want you guys to read with us and have fun. This round of the readathon is going to be taking place from December 25th to December 31st. So it's right in between fabulous holidays. It's a seven day readathon. And the color theme is pink. Now, unlike previous rounds, we are just encouraging you to read pink. We're actually entitling the readathon Read Pink. But because we know we are putting this out quite last minute, we know that maybe you won't be able to find pink books in that amount of time or you may not own pink books already, or you may not even want to read pink books because you've planned your to be read for the end of the year already. And that is totally fine. We just want you to join in and read with us. And we just want to have like a collective read with people. So don't feel obligated to read pink books if you don't want to. But if you do want to read one, two, three pink books that you already have in your collection, totally do that. We're probably going to highly rely on communicating information with you fabulous peeps through our Discord chat. I will link the Discord chat below in the description so that you can check that out and hopefully join. It's a fun group. We like to talk to each other all throughout, even in between readathons. So if you want to just join a fun group of readers, totally do that. As for the few events that we decided to put together for this, there will be two live streams on Wilma's channel. The times will be listed below for when those live streams will be. Both of us usually agree to list the time zones <laughs> in Wilma's time zone, which I believe is Central European time. We are going to try to do a joint live stream but we've never done that before, so if something doesn't work out, I'm definitely going to be in the comments of those live streams. So if you want to ask me any questions or anything, that's where I'll be. But hopefully we can make that work for at least one of these live streams. Anywho, I will be hosting some Discord reading sprints on the Discord chat. Those will be going on on Saturday, Sunday, and Tuesday. I'm going to be doing them around 1 p.m. in my time zone, which is Central Standard Time in the U.S. So I think that's like 20 hundred in Wilma's time zone. I will definitely let you know in the Discord chat if anything changes on terms of times, but that is the goal. We are also doing some just for fun Instagram challenges because who doesn't like a good photo every once in a while. And those are going to be taking place on the first day, the 25th, which will probably just be your to be read. Just take a photo of that. And then the following days are Monday, Wednesday, and the final day, which is Thursday. So if you wanted to participate in the Instagram challenges, make sure you follow both of our Instagrams. I will link Wilma's below as well as mine. Now on to my personal to be read for this readathon. So I actually picked a lot of books. I just grabbed a lot of pink books that inspired me but I'm definitely probably going to only read like two or three of these books but I like to mood read during the color readathons so that's why I've picked a lot of things and then we'll see what I end up 
reading during the actual readathon. But the book I know for sure that I'm going to be completing is Daisy Jones and the Six because I've already started this book and I'm highly enjoying it. It's about a fictional band during the late 60s and early 70s. I've been reading kind of slowly lately so I have a feeling that I'm still going to be reading this during the readathon and it does have a pink spine and some other like pink details on it. The next book that I want to try checking out is Choker by Elizabeth Woods. I actually have zero idea what this book is about but it isn't super long and it is kind of this fun peachy pink in shade and I got this at the library book sale like a long long while back and I'm kind of just intrigued just solely from the cover about what this is about so we'll see if I end up picking this up next are a couple of rereads that I've been meaning to kind of get to because I got anniversary editions of these books one is Sylvia Plath's the Bell Jar in the 50th anniversary edition. I know this book would probably make me super sad, but the 50th anniversary edition really intrigues me, and I also don't remember this book very well at all. So at some point, even if it's not during this readathon, I probably do need to reread it. Next reread would be Valley of the Dolls. This is also a 50th anniversary edition and my goodness people it has the most beautiful like pink actual sprayed pages Ooh, children this is kind of about the price of fame it's that kind of book and I have been meaning to give this a reread in this particular ed edition in a for a while so hopefully maybe I'll definitely try to get to get this. I pulled like a couple of other books that I may pick up depending on like time or mood. Uh, they're not like priority. I feel like those other four are more priority but they are pink books that I had and I just thought I'd throw them in there. So one is The Beautiful and the Damned by F. Scott Fitzgerald. You never know when the modern classic book moment is gonna hit you and it may hit me during this readathon it's kind of this rosy color so I think it's an interesting shade of pink for the readathon and I don't know that I know too much about what this one is about too this is another library book sale purchase but I'm sure it's set in the 20s and I'm sure there's a lot of like emo drama going on in it because it's Fitzgerald. And then lastly, I thought it'd be fun to maybe pick up 100 Love Sonnets by Pablo Neruda. Oh my gosh, and I've probably butchered the poor poet's name. So this is a collection of poetry. So I decided to choose this because I haven't read it, even though I've owned it for a while. I believe that it is my mother's. And I just want to see if this writing inspires me and in what I think of this poetry book and also poetry books are really quick reads. So if it if I do choose to read like one of these longer books, I think that this would be something quick that I could squeeze in. So that is the announcement video slash to be read for you guys. I hope you guys will join in on the readathon. Like I said, the pink theme is solely a guideline. It is not a rule this time. So if you want to read pink books, please do. If you don't want to read pink books, just join in and read whatever you would like to read. We just want to read with a group of peeps and just have fun. That is the goal this time around. I will, of course, link you to Wilma's channel and Instagram below and also make sure that you follow my Instagram or Twitter below if you want updates on what I'm reading, how I'm reading, all the stuff during the readathon, possibly other announcements. So all that stuff will be linked below in the description as well. I think that's it my fabulous peeps. I will see you all soon. Bye!